You know something, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, I talk to one person, you tell me one thing. I talk to the next person, you tell me something else. No, I've talked to your supervisor and to his supervisor and the one after that. Now, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be a lot of trouble here, but is there anybody there that can give me just a straight answer? Right. Any news? Oh, yeah. Uh, just that the WSB doesn't know anything about anything. Uh, who did you talk to? It's more like who I didn't talk to. I've talked to clerks and secretaries and agents and supervisors, and I was going to talk to the head of the bureau himself, except that nobody can find me. There's more bureaucratic red tape. There is no information on Frisco. Oh, me. You mean they're not going to even tell his own brother? Hey. Frisco could call and they wouldn't reveal anything. What did they say? Well, either that he's missing, which we already know, or they've never heard of him. What? Some people say that they have never heard of Agent Andrew Jones. Wait a minute, what about the letter that Felicia received? They don't care, they just give the phone to somebody else and then they frustrate me. WSB can be heartless. It's like Felicia said, they just don't care. Where is she? Oh, I, I lost her. No. no. She got in a cab and I got I lost her in traffic. I, she could be any place. Do you know where she could have gone? No. And we're going to have to keep our fingers crossed on this one because she should not be anywhere alone right now. There's no telling what she'll do. Thanks, honey. I feel so sorry. I... Is there anything I can do? Just tell me Frisco's okay. Tell me he's coming home. Tell me this was all just a big mistake. I wish I could. I tried, Sean. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. You and Robert told me just exactly what to expect. We never anticipated this. I wasn't naive. I knew exactly what it was to be the WSB agent's wife. I knew he'd be gone for long periods of time. I knew he'd be in constant danger. No, I, I, I knew that your, your head always understood this, but I didn't know how your heart felt until now. I told him I'd wait for him, and I have. You couldn't have asked for anything more. He's been gone for months, and now he may never come back. Oh, no, no, you look at me. You don't even think that. Did I ever make any demands of him? Did I ever ask him too many questions? What did I do wrong? It isn't your fault. I should have never let him become a WSB agent. I should have insisted he did something else. Please, God, don't let him be too late. Oh, it probably is now. Please, please, it probably is. Now, the letter said he's missing. Not dead. So don't jump to conclusions. What else am I supposed to think? I can't have faith anymore, not after that letter. I have to have information. Oh, all right, I'll, 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 I'll try and find out something. My imagination's going crazy. I have to have some concrete information now. Well, let me call my contact at the WSB. I, I, I'm sure I'll learn something. I have to call Tony. I ran out on him. I'm, I'm sure he's really worried about me. Okay, well, how do you do that? Hello? Hi. I'm glad you're still there. You all right? I'm fine. I'm... I'm sorry I walked out on you like that. Where'd you go? I'm at Sean's office at the agency. I came by to find out if he knew anything, if he could find out from the WSB. Oh, I hope he had better luck than I did. They stonewalled me. Well, Sean has some good connections, and maybe he'll find out about Frisco. If he does, I'll let you know right away. Appreciate it. I'll be at the hospital. Working helps. Yeah, I don't think any amount of working is going to help this. Um. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I hope to hear from you soon. I'm supposed to get over to Duke's real early, um, but I can call in sick if you need me. No, there's nothing for you to do here. Are you sure? I don't want you to be alone. I mean, I can call Lucy for you. Or... No, don't. I'm okay. Okay. Uh, all right, you know where I am if you need me.
Oh, come on, Carl. Come off of it, will you? We go back too far together. No, I mean, come on. You, you can tell me something about Frisco. What do you mean you don't even know? What the hell was he working on anyway? But, no, 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 no hard feelings. As long as you promise to call me the minute you hear anything. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Frisco's vanished from the face of the earth. <sighs> Felicia, I wish I could tell you anything. I feel awful about this. I, I was sure I was going to learn something. He wasn't working on just any ordinary mission, was he? No, 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 he wasn't. He, he's a deep cover, wherever he is, whatever he, he was doing. And that is about as top secret as you can get with the WSB. Not even my clearance is going to gain access to that file. What do we do now? I'll keep trying. But I shouldn't sit by the phone, right? Hey, look, I'm going to do everything in my power to get you some answers, all right? In the meantime, you're going to hang tough. I know that's hard. But you can lean on your friends. You've been there for us enough times, right? Frisco would expect me to be strong. I'll do it for him. As long as I can. Hey, why don't I close out this office? I'll give you a lift home and we'll, uh, we'll spend the afternoon together. No, that's okay. I'd like to be alone. You sure? I think I'm gonna walk home. Felicia, I mean, everything's gonna work out. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Commissioner Scorpio's office. Hey, is the commissioner in? This is Sean Donnelly. Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Donnelly. Um, I'm afraid the commissioner's gone. And when do you expect him back? Probably not for a while. He was um, headed for the courthouse to pick up a search warrant, and then he was going to go over to Duke's. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We'll never know what hit him. I feel like this is my lucky day. Did you hit the lottery, too? <laughs> Better than that. Jerome's off my back now forever. That much I know. Yeah, and he's taking his bootleg booze with him. Not to mention Carter's hired guns. That's not the best news, though. All right, what tops that? I just talked to the hospital. And okay? She's out of CICU. Fantastic! <laughs> That's great. Yeah, they just moved her into a private room. Good, she's on the road to recovery. She's fine. Her temperature's back to normal. She'll be home before too long. Oh, great. Boy, well, she'll have the whole family back together again. I know. I'm going to head over to the hospital and see you. Wait, I'm going out, too. So? What if Scorpio shows up? I don't care if he shows up. Let him come here. He can come here and take the place apart for all I care. Oh, boss. Our good commissioner is a dollar short and a day late, as usual. Boss, I don't want Scorpio snooping around here. If you or I are not going to be here. I really don't think we have to worry about it. I'll get Terry to keep an eye on things. Terry? Yeah? Hi. Hi. Do me a favor. Hold the fort down here, will you? Angel will have to go out. Sure. Terrific. Okay. okay. Thanks. And, uh, by the way, if the commissioner please comes by, offer him a drink on the house, a large one. I think he may need it. Right. Key to open the library's door. Now, if we simply had the sketch for his accomplice. I'm sorry, but the artist said he'd have it here. Well... We'll have to pick it up later. I haven't got any more time to waste. Come on, we've got a club to look into. Richard Scorpio! This envelope just came for you. Thank you. Huh. Sometimes wears glasses. You seen this guy before? No. Have you? No, but I have a feeling we're going to meet real soon. For the time being, it's going to have to wait. We have a club to trash. Come on. I got it. All right.
I still say I let Lavery off too easily. Oh, Pop, you were too hard on him. He hasn't seen anything yet. Pop, why destroy a potential ally? No ally talks to me like that. Pop, you don't trade threats with a man like Duke Lavery. You're right. I'm through threatening. And you can't intimidate him either. All you, all you can do is have him killed, and then he's no good to anybody. So? Who needs him? We do. And we can get through to him. At least I think I can. What is this, Julie? You and he became forever friends during the search for his wife? I wouldn't say that, but we, yes, we got along. And Poppy owes me. I know I can make him listen to reason. If I don't kill him first. That would help, yes. Now, I need you to leave us alone for a while. You obviously had no success before. I know, but you always say time changes everything. Now, I want another crack at him. All right. Duke Lavery is all yours. I don't need this abuse. Right. Will you wait here while I go back to the club and talk to him? You're wasting your time. We'll, we'll see. Back as soon as I can, just sit tight. Hopefully, I'll have Lavery in my pocket. 